And every Thursday, we will be checking in with a TikToker who's going viral for her videos on what's happening right here in our state's capital. She's known as the Queen of Salt Lake. And this morning on Good Morning Utah, she talked with our very own Jillian Smuckler to give us a sneak peek at what she has in store. Check it out. Los Tapatios Taco Grill is a family-owned business that opened in 2020 in Salt Lake City. Known for its flavorful, authentic Bedia, it has since expanded to a second location in Taylorsville. So what is Bedia? Originating from Guadalajara, it is a beef stew made with tons of spices, and it's the center of every dish served at this establishment. You can get it in tacos, molitas, quesadillas, and now ramen. One of my favorite best-kept secrets in the city is now yours to try. The 11th annual Bomberly Bash is this Friday, 8 p.m. at the Stateroom downtown, including the Natural Roots and the Sun Divide. All of my 2023 brides should head down to Sandy to the Mountain Expo Center for the Southtown Bridal Showcase. You can find tons of different vendors from floral to bakery and, of course, your gowns. If you're in the market for a special gift for your special someone on Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., you can head down to Woodbine Food Hall in downtown Salt Lake for the Valentine's Art Market, tons of local vendors, and a great way to shop small and shop local. If you are ready to watch some of the best gymnastics in the nation, head to the Huntsman Center on Friday night, 6.45 p.m., the number four Utah Red Rocks. Welcome the number five UCLA Bruins into the Huntsman Center. Tickets are available online still at utahutes.com. Today, tomorrow, and Friday, you can head up to Deer Valley for a free event and check out some of the world's best gears at the 2023 Freestyle World Cup. The event is free, uh, but it is first come, first serve, so just be aware of that as you're planning for parking. That's all I got for this weekend's weekend update. Come back here next Thursday, same time, same place, for more ideas and a new place to check out in Salt Lake City. So joining us on Zoom this morning is the queen of Salt Lake City herself, Kendall Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us, Kendall. Thank you for having me. So we just showed some of your videos. I watched them last night and they're hilarious. I don't think viewers got that from the ones we just saw, but they're hilarious, <laughs> informative. I mean, people love you on TikTok. You have nearly 50,000 followers. Are you surprised by the reaction you're getting? Uh, I think a little. I mean, I originally moved to Utah out of college for my first job. I had never visited Salt Lake City or Utah before, so I wasn't really sure what I was getting into. And then I you know, have been here ever since. I love living in Utah. I love Salt Lake and I've seen what the power of social media can do. So this time last year, I hopped on TikTok and just started posting videos about everything I love to do in Salt Lake. And I found that there was a large community of people that were looking for things to do and new connections to make. And it's just kind of taken off from there, but it's been really, really rewarding just to see people go out and do the things uh, that I recommend. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, so many people are moving and visiting our state recently. And so just coming from experience, you know, a lot of people are wondering what's going on, best places to live, best places to eat, go out with the girls, all those types of things. And you seem to cover all of those types of events and topics. What else can people expect if they want to follow you on TikTok or watch our segment with you on Thursdays? What other topics are you going to cover? Um, I think all of that and just kind of what to look for during the weekend. Again, there's so many uh, things to do in Salt Lake. We have an incredible outdoor scene, incredible nightlife, and with the NBA All-Star game coming up, there's so many events that people may not know about, and so uh, look out for that too. That's so exciting. And if anyone wants to, you to explore a topic, maybe check something out for them, is there a way for them to get a hold of you, or how can they go about doing that? Yeah, great question. Uh, definitely comment on any of my videos or my DMs are open on Instagram. I also have my emails. I try to get back to those uh, as soon as I can. I always have people requesting itineraries for uh, out-of-town visitors, uh, and it's just been really fun. Yeah, I love doing it. Well, we love having you. So we'll be checking in with Kendall to see the hottest events and trends happening in Utah every Thursday on Good Morning Utah. Thank you so much, Kendall, for taking the time. Your videos crack me up. I love them. So we'll see you next week. <laughs> Thanks, Jillian.